I am Jim Hamilton. I'm a group director with InfoTrends. And I'd like to show you some uh, print samples that I got from International Paper. They're highlighting their Accent Opaque and their Williamsburg mines, but also versions of them that are specially treated for inkjet. Let me give you an idea of, uh, of the Accent Opaque version. And I think it's really nicely done as far as how they present this and make a very important point. So if you look at this, open it up wide, I'll uh, bring it back a little bit, you see that there are two sheets side by side. It's actually multiple sheets um, that are shown. But on the one side, you have uh, an untreated uh, inkjet, or uh, untreated stock that is printed with inkjet. By the way, this is printed on a Canon OSE Varia Print i300. And then the comparable uh, stock, um, but inkjet treated. And what this shows off is that you've got uh, much more vibrancy color gamut on the inkjet treated side than you do printing on the regular stock. Now there may be times for certain applications that uh, going with the untreated stock makes the most sense. And it may also, or it certainly will also be less expensive than an inkjet treated stock. But you do have the benefit with the inkjet treated stock of getting a much, much nicer reproduction. And they show it here, if I can show it, is so uh, a very affordable sheet for pigment-based presses, this top sheet, um, a heavier, more impressive pigment-ready uh, digital paper. Uh, they actually have a dye-based version. So these two accent opaques have what they call image lock technology. This accent opaque uses what they call diamond, and that is for dye-based uh, um, inkjet inks. And then you've got, again, another one that picks up uh, with a thicker stock showing you know, output that might be used more for, let's say, a, a postcard or a, perhaps a brochure type of application. So for me, these kinds of samples really help uh, bring the point home. You can see what the, uh, the impact is of using the, the inkjet treated stocks uh, and make assessments for your own. So um, kudos to the folks at International Paper for putting together a very nice print sample.